the upcoming Marvel Studios World War Hulk project is set to be on another scale compared to most Marvel Studios films. So let's talk about how everything in World War Hulk is going to be turned up to 11 while using elements of Civil War among the Hulks and also the multiverse. <laughs> So by all accounts, Marvel Studios' World War Hulk film will very much be connected to the multiverse saga. And by some reports, it's supposed to come out before Secret Wars, but could be sort of positioned as a concurrent thing that happens. Now to me, that wouldn't make sense, because if we look at it logistically, if the whole Hulk thing is happening at the same time as Secret Wars, that means the Hulks aren't in Secret Wars, which then defeats the purpose of everybody fighting. So my guess would be it's sort of a lead-in film, and that's the way you handle it. So now let's talk about what's going on. So we previously touched upon the fact that they seem to be going for a us versus them, good hulks versus bad hulks story. Essentially having the Hulk, She-Hulk, and some of his associates fight the leader, Thunderbolt Ross, and some of his associates. Of course, we would see Red She-Hulk thrown into this, Hulk Sun Scar. But where things get more interesting is that we're hearing it's also going to feature the multiversal Hulks and their variants. Now, I already talked about the fact that a lot of people looked over the fact that She-Hulk openly states that there's a She-Hulk in the multiverse. I'll put that video up there. You guys can watch as one of the ones recommended. And I think that's going to come into play, which also brings me to talk about Lou Ferrigno's Hulk. That would also make sense if you bring him in. You know, oh, look, it's the TV version, or maybe even it's the actor that plays him version. Like, that would be interesting. You know how they did it back in the 90s Spider-Man cartoon? So you toss them all in, but we're also hearing we're going to see the other Hulks. Like, we're talking about Hulk from, you know, what's called as Shrek Hulk or Ang Lee's Hulk could possibly be in this as well. And going even further, it's being stated that we could be seeing like new versions of hulk from the multiverse that we've never seen before which again could be a really interesting way to bring in some other versions of hulk that they would have toyed around with like gray hulk who was supposed to be in age of ultron but when they screen tested the film the audience was confused because they didn't realize that gray hulk was the hulk <sighs> yeah listen to test audiences huh so again if we look at the bigger picture that they're putting together here it sounds like that hulk is essentially going to be everything hulk ever tossed in at once and that they want this to be like a spectacle film on possibly a separate planet or possibly locked away in their own little corner of where this battle is happening hulks have at it and it certainly would be interesting if they do take this i don't know back to sakaar and somehow they can integrate that planet being important to hulks maybe they get I don't know, an army on there or something, or something happens, or, I don't know, they shoot Hulk into space again? Or, well, technically this time, they would have to shoot him willingly, because the last time he got lost up there. So, they could find a way to do it, but I'm intrigued by this. It sounds like it could be like the Hulk film for everybody's wet dreams. Certainly, there would be a lot of smashing, so, you know, checks off that off the, uh, what we want in a Hulk film featuring all the Hulks.